So it's like the end of October, and we are just working on my rims now. We're gonna change this, these into this color. It's pretty much the same color as my summer rims. As you see, they're behind me, they're already working. Um, <laughs> We're planning, we're putting on oh, uh, rock guard on the inner because oh. that's what the guy had before. Oh. And then we're just going to spray the front faces with the wooded colors it is. Back down there. Ah. Still... Graphite. It's they're called graphite. Me. And they're, call, they're calling it... It's good juice. That's what they're calling it. I guess I don't know something yeah, that they do. Anyways, so I have all the rims besides this one. So I will take you along on how I'm going to do this exactly and we're gonna finish up those ones. So the first thing we need to do to the rim is to sand it down so the primer sticks and also to get some of the chips out. Um, I've done most of the really bad rims and the rim I'm working on for the video is actually not that bad. But I'm just taking, um, what is it? I think it's 240 sandpaper with the very noisy thing and just sanding out because we've got chips here and here. And then priming it, so that should go. I would record or sanding it down, but it's going to be crazy, really noisy, and you guys probably don't want to hear it. So I will catch up to you when we're sanding or priming it. Okay, I got the wheel all sanded down, and now I have to spray the inner back part with rocker guard. Or, yeah, rocker guard, just so it doesn't chip because they put rocks all over here. And um, what? <laughs> No, oh, okay. No, we're not wearing. And then we can, it look cleaner because the color, you can actually get a better look at the color now. This is the color, so it will match up pretty nicely with the black, actually. So now I'm going to go spray with a rocker guard. Actually spray two wheels with a rocker guard. Let that dry, and then we're probably actually going to prime the other two wheels. in your arms And these feelings Start to change So that took way longer than expected. We just got the rocker guard on all the wheels though. Um, and we got two of the wheels masked. So we can actually just go ahead and spray. Here's one, a good one. There, we can just go ahead and spray um, the wheels after. There we go. Go ahead and spray and where's the second one? There's the second one from the back. So we can go ahead and spray, but they're getting hungry, so we're gonna go eat, and then I think we'll probably continue this, um, not tomorrow, but next day, and finally get my winters ready to go. And we're back, take three, because I just have to check if it was recording. Anyways, um, we're gonna prime them and sand them now, finally. We've got the masking all done, and I'll show you what we did here. We got, since we've got the colors already, we just have, or the back, paint we just have to go along and mask around and then we put paper which is still not really sticking but it's good enough and then mask, mask the back of the rims and we did that for all of them so it should be a pretty easy um pretty easy if the tape stops coming unstuck so now we're just gonna prime it mask it or not prime it mask it Prime it, sand it, prime it, sand it till we're happy with the results. Like some of the stuff like right here, the the really bad curb rash is going to be left, but it's good enough for winters because the winters are just going to get more chipped. So yeah. first and second coat of primer. If we look at the wheels, they actually got a really cool color just due to the primer. There we go, here's a better exposure. It's like a matte gray, but the paint fumes are just horrible. That's why I'm wearing, you guys see me wearing that bandana. And he's using the ghetto respirator, AKA hoodies. And yeah, there's spots I've missed. 
He's doing a much better job than me. But um, I've got to sand in between some of these places, so like here. So I'm going to use a 240 grit um, sandpaper and then between our final coat of primer and the paint, I'm going to use a 600 grit because that's what they recommend. Oh my, so the paint fumes. <coughs> so there's the little update for now. Um, we're, I'm going to move away so I have, can take this off. And after that, we're going to put down some paint. So let's see how that goes. So we got three coats of primer on. Um, and now we're actually going to go paint it now. Because if we look, it, it looks bad. I was going for the 10 feet rule. It looks good from 10 feet away. But it looks good almost like two feet away. So we're, we're doing much better than expected. So now I'm going to spray it. There's a little test patch. And it's really, oh, you can't see it. And it's really, really sparkly. Oh, there. Yeah. Super spark. I don't know how well you guys can actually see it. Anyways, so now we're gonna put probably, oh, the sun's in my eyes, put probably two coats down. Um, we have an hour to do it, so not really a challenge. They're both for the first and second coat are done and we are finished painting them. They turned out super well. I'm really surprised how they did. Like look at that. They're super sparkly. Oh. There we go. Super sparkly. How did Adrian sign the one that looks super good because he did it? Look at the lettering. Like compared to my lettering. You can barely read it. You can't read it. Rip. So yeah, now we're just pulling off masking tape. So, we finished. He's now doing his sunglasses. But anyways, it, they turned out super, super good. Way better than I was expecting, actually. The color I picked, the sparkle, um, actually hides like all the little chips and stuff, or most of them. From like two feet away, it looks pretty well good. Besides the one I painted, where you can't see any of the letters. But So this is the final product. I must say, it looks really good. The camera does no justice to the sparkles at all. It's super sparkly right on the camera right now to me. Maybe maybe you guys might see a little sparkle. Let's see. Can we get really close? Yeah, there's a little bit of a sparkle. But the, it hides the chips really well, which I'm happy with. And then there's the best room, and Adrian signed it because, of course, he painted it. Because mine... Where's mine? Right there. Um, you can't see. So yeah, that is pretty much the end. The rooms turned out great. Um, we're just gonna paint these brackets now, or clear them. Not that interesting, so I decided just to leave it out of the video. Another cut, because I forgot what I was gonna say, and it took me a second to figure it out. But I'm hoping to see if I can take you guys um, to go get them mounted, because the shop I go is really cool. They work on like a bunch of skylines. There's skylines parked all over. They're called Boost Factory. That's the sticker on the back of my car. That's where I got it from. But I'm hoping to take you guys along. It should happen in the next week. Might be the next video, might be video after that, because I'm hoping to get more videos out for you guys to watch, just a little bit shorter. But now it's a f now we're actually done here. Um, but until next time, peace out and stay humble.